very good morning students so this is the continuation video of your previous chapter that is current electricity so in my previous tutorial i have given you some homework like in the exercise questions and all so in that exercise questions you see so there are few numericals so from there we will practice few today okay so so that in, uh, for you it will be easy to solve the rest of the questions so you see i have taken one question from that exercise of current electricity that carefully study the circuit diagram shown in the figure and calculate the value of register x okay so we need to calculate this value of this register this unknown register x value we have to calculate so first we will see that whatever what data is given in the question emf is given 6 volt there is no internal resistance and the emitter reading is showing 0 0.4 ampere we have 2 ohm resistance which is in series with the combination of 12 ohm, 6 ohm and 3 ohm so these 3 are in parallel but it's in series with 2 ohm and x ok so we need to find the value of x so first of all what we will do we will calculate this resistance first here solution here 12 ohm 6 ohm and 3 ohm are in parallel ok so are in parallel so therefore 1 by r dash will be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 so if you take LCM here you will get 7 by 12 right that is 1 by r dash equals to 7 by 12 or r dash equals to 12 by 7 so we got this 12 by 7 but this is in series with 2 ohm and x that means total r equivalent equals to 2 ohm plus 12 by 7 ohm plus x okay so if you take lcm again 7 to the 14 14 plus 12 that is 26 by 7 ohm plus x okay so we will not write here ohm just we will write 26 plus 26 by 7 plus x now we will see the total current that is i equals to total em by total resistance right so this is the formula we have to use here so total current is how much 0 0.4 ampere total emf is given here 6 and total resistance that is 26 by 7 plus x plus internal resistance but internal resistance is what 0 so if this small r in the position it is 0 so we'll just cross multiply 26 by 7 plus x equals to 6 by 0 0.4 or this can be written as 60 by 4 450 meter or 26 by 7 plus x equals to 15 or x equals to 15 minus 26 by 7 okay so this one i'll solve here so x equals to 7 times 35 that is 105 minus 26 by 7 so when we will subtract this one we will get 79 by 7 now when we will divide this one 11 the 7 11 the 77 point 27 2 the 14 6 7 8 the 56 or this can be written as 11.3 okay if we round off so this is our answer so value of x is 11.3 so this is how we solve this type of questions first in any network first we will see that what is the equivalent resistance then we will try to calculate the total resistance then if current is there then we will apply the current formula that is current equals to total EMF by total resistance so after substitution we will get the value of unknown resistance so next question we have here a battery of EMF 3 volt is connected in series with an emitter 
same ohm wire and with a parallel combination of resistance of 3 ohm and 6 ohm draw a circuit diagram also we have to calculate the resistance of parallel combination reading on the ammeter potential difference across the 3 ohm resistor current flowing through 3 ohm resistor so you see this type of questions generally it comes ok so in this type of questions you need to draw the circuit diagram by yourself so first what you will see that a battery of emf3 volt is connected in series with an ammeter so therefore there is a battery we will draw the battery it is in series with ammeter ok that is 10 ohm now this end is connected with a 10 ohm wire with a parallel combination of the resistance so therefore this is further connected with parallel resistor and this one is connected together right so this is given 3 volt ammeter reading we don't know we have to calculate this one and this is given 10 ohm and this is given here 3 ohm and this is given 6 ohm right so what we need to calculate here we need to calculate the total resistance of the parallel combination also the reading of the ammeter that is current we are asking potential difference across 3 ohm resistor so what is the potential difference here and how much current is passing through this resistor right so this is the question so first of all what we will do we will calculate the resistance of this parallel combination so solution here 3 ohm and 6 ohm are in parallel so 1 by r dash or you can consider this one as r1 1 by r1 equals to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 that is LCM we will get here 6 that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 by 6 or half or we can say r1 equals to 2 ohm right so first answer resistance of the parallel combination answer is 2 ohm we got answer right next we will find the reading on an ammeter reading on an ammeter means here that is this was point number a point number b the reading on an ammeter means i equals to e by r plus small r so what is the total mn that is 3 capital r capital r we get here 10 plus 2 that is 12 ohm that is the total resistance here 10 plus here we got 2 that is 10 plus 2 minus 12 ohm so 12 small r is not given in the question because internal resistance is 0 so 3 by 12 that is 1 by 4 or that is 0 0.25 ampere right so total current also we got here so reading on an ammeter so on what is the reading here 0 0.25 ampere third thing we have to calculate here potential difference across 3 ohm resistor so i just rub the board here now potential difference across 3 ohm resistor across 3 ohm resistor so potential difference equals to i into r1 r1 when i say that is r1 is the combination of this so what is the total potential of here that is i we got 0 0.25 and r1 we got here that is 2 that is 0 0.5 right total potential at 3 ohm is total potential as this so how much is the potential here 0 0.5 ohm ok next we will calculate current flowing through 3 ohm resistor now current flowing through 3 ohm resistor means here we know V1 equals to I1 into R so here V1 just now we have seen that is 0 0.5 I1 current we have to find and how much is the 3 ohm so I1 equals to 0 0.5 by 3 
that is 5 by 30 or 1 by 6 or this can be written as 0 0.166 Okay, so let me make it clear once more. So first of all, resistance of parallel combination means we will find this resistance by using the formula. Next, reading on an ammeter means here total voltage by total resistance. So we will get here total voltage by total resistance 0 0.25 ampere. Next, we have potential difference across 3 ohm resistor. Now we have to see that 3 ohm resistor is in parallel combination with 6 ohm. So total resistance is here 2 ohm, right? So we, we have to use the formula V equals to IR. Now IR means not only 3 ohm because 3 ohm is in parallel with 6 ohm. So we have to take the total combined, combined resistance answer. That is IR1, is total. Okay. So R1, what is the total resistance here? That is 2 I. We got the total current that is 0 0.25. So we will get the potential difference across this branch. Next we need to calculate here how much current is passing through this 3 ohm resistor. That means, so total voltage V1 equals to I1 R1. So V equals to 0 0.5. I1 we have to calculate and which resistor 3 ohm. So if you divide, then we will get the current through that particular resistor. So next question we have here, 4 registers of resistance is 0 0.5 ohm, 1.5 ohm, 4 ohm and 6 ohm are connected in series to a battery of EMF 6 volt. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 4 registers are connected with one battery here. So according to this question, 0 0.5 ohm. 1.5 ohm, 4 ohm and 6 ohm. So battery of 6 volt here. We need to calculate the total current through the same. So, to, so total current we know. Total current flowing through the circuit that is I equals to total EMF by total resistance. Total EMF is 6 volt here and total resistance we need to calculate and internal resistance is 0. So we will be calculating the total resistance first that means are all are in series therefore 0 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 4 plus 6 that is 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 6 12 that is 12 ohm. Right? So total current will be here 6 by 12 that is 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 ampere. So 0 0.5 ampere is current is passing through this circuit. Now one thing you note, in the next point we have to find potential difference across each resistor that means PD stands for your potential difference or even the potential drop. Okay, so what is the potential drop across each resistance here? So we need to calculate PD here. So let us consider potential drop across 0 0.5 is V1, rate is V2, V3 and V4, right? So V1 equals to I R1. So V1 will be I is 0 0.5 and R1 is 0 0.5. That is 525 by 100. That is 0 0.25 volt. So likewise, we will calculate for other also. Suppose for V2, V2 equals to I R2. So how much is the current? That is 0 0.5. That means 5 by 10. And R2 we have 1.5. That means 75 that is 0 0.75 volt ok so V3 will have I R3 so I is 5 by 10 and R3 we know that is 4 that is 20 by 10 that is 2 volt and last V4 we have 5 by 10 into 6 that is 30 by 10 or 3 volt. So these are the potential drop. So whatever V1 we got that is the potential drop across 0 0.5. V2 is 0 0.75 volt is across 1.5. 2 volt is across 4 ohm and 
3 volt is across 6 ohm. So this is how we calculate the potential drop across each resistor. So to calculate like its potential drop, we need to calculate the total current. Then we will see that all are in series, so we just multiply with current. The resistors, resistance will multiply with current, we will get the potential drop across particular resistor. So similarly, there are a few questions which you can solve by looking today's questions which I have solved on the board. Like you see, question number 16, given below a circuit diagram in which 3 resistors 1 ohm, 2 ohm and 3 ohm are connected to a cell of EMF 2 volt and internal resistance 0 0.5 ohm. So 1 ohm, 2 ohm and 3 ohm are connected with the cell of how much? 2 volt having internal resistance 0 0.5 ohm. So you see here the circuit diagram is given. So we need to calculate the resistance of the circuit that means total resistance of the circuit. We need to calculate the ammeter reading that is current and it is said what will be the ammeter reading if an exactly similar cell is connected in series with the given cell okay so first we will calculate the total resistance here that means 1 ohm and 2 ohm are in series their answer is in parallel with 3 ohm so likewise we will calculate the total resistance of the cell now once you know the total resistance we know the voltage also and here you see 5 ohm it is the internal resistance here or that is 0 0.5 ohm okay so internal resistance here it is misprint here so in the question it is mentioned here 0 0.5 ohm so likewise we will calculate the total current flowing through the circuit that means total emf by total resistance capital r plus small r so after calculating the total current here so this was the question calculate the total resistance of the circuit what is the reading of the ammeter and what will be the ammeter reading if exactly the similar cell is connected in series with the given cell so one by one first we will solve so we will see that 1 ohm and 2 ohm are in series so first we will write here 1 ohm and 2 ohm are in series therefore R1 will be 1 plus 2 that is 3 ohm now this 3 ohm is in parallel with 3 ohm so R1 is R1 and 3 ohm are in parallel so R2 we can get here 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3 ok or R2 we will get here 3 by 2 ohm right so this is the resistance of this network now when I calculate the total resistance total resistance that is R equivalent that is total R plus small r the total R when I say this is the total R now 3 by 2 plus small r we have 0 0.5 that is 5 by 10 or if you calculate here LCM is 10 2 5 are 10 that is 15 plus 5 that is 20 by 10 or 2 ohm that is total resistance we got from here that is 2 ohm ok so calculate the total resistance of the circuit that is 2 ohm next what is the reading of the ammeter so reading of the ammeter next part question number b that is i we need to calculate here i equals to total emf by total resistance ok total emf we have here 2 volt and total resistance we have 2 that is 1 ampere so this much current is passing through the circuit now the question gets changed the question is saying that what will be the emitter reading if exactly the similar cell is connected in series with the given cell now if this circuit is getting changed here now if we change this circuit and so in the next part just i am wiping this out now i am just changing the circuit now now similar one more circuit according to third question similar one more cell is connected in series with this then what will be the ammeter reading ok so what will be the ammeter reading if one more EMF is connected in series that means we will have 
0 0.5 ohm and 0 0.5 ohm internal resistance then internal resistance will also get changed so when internal resistance will get changed that means the total current that is i equals to total emf r plus r plus r that means there will be two resistance right so emf will be 2 plus 2 that is 4 and r we got here 2 plus 0 0.5 so now this will also get changed so first we will calculate the total resistance here now because resistance will also change resistance was you see for this network we had 3 by 2 3 by 2 plus now we will have 0 0.5 that is 5 by 10 plus 5 by 10 right so total resistance will be 2 5 the 10 15 plus 5 plus 5 okay so that is 25 by 10 or that is 2.5 now resistance we got 2.5 here now after getting resistance 2.5 ohm what will be the current then current is 4 by 2.5 or 40 by 25 or we will calculate this one so total current equals to total EMF by total resistance so total resistance is equal 25 point will remove here that is 5 8 the 40 5 5 the 25 now we can calculate this one we will get 1.6 ampere okay so if we put 2 rates 2 EMF in series then internal resistance will also get add up and the total current will be 1.6 otherwise it was 1 ohm, 1 ampere sorry right so total current 1 ampere was flowing when only one cell was connected now 1.6 ampere will flow when two emfs are connected in series so similarly we will be solving for this type of questions also right so we need to calculate here resistance r so First, we will calculate the total resistance keeping it R only, that means as 2 ohm and 3 ohm are there in parallel. So, we will get here 1 by R plus 1 by 2, and their answer is in series with 4 ohm. Okay, so we will calculate first total EMF by to current equals to total EMF by total resistance. So, from there, we can get the value of R. Okay. So we will try to solve these questions. So if you have any problem, you let me know so that I can solve these questions in my next video. Lots of questions are there in this exercise. So I have not started a new exercise today. Okay, so you will try to complete these questions. So you see this type of questions are easy. First we will calculate they are in parallel. So 1 by 4 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12. Now whatever answer we will get, they are in series with 2 ohm and 5 ohm okay so equivalent resistance how to calculate the potential difference how to calculate the current potential drawback for a particular resistance like today we have solved few questions so similar questions you will be solving okay so these all questions you need to do in your exercise book okay so these questions are very important as we'll start a new chapter that is household circuit electrical energy and power in household circuits so by then you have to complete these exercise questions in your exercise book okay till then thank you